What's good with y'all, man? This is the day in the life. Day in the life at my new school, Mississippi College, bro. We're currently in summer training right now. And so, as you saw, I woke up, got ready. Now, we would usually go to the cafeteria to eat breakfast, you know, where we usually eat all our meals right now during the summer. But we were running a little late, so you know, I had my little snacks and I ate that because this morning we have to go on a work detail. Now, if you don't know what a work detail is, this is something that's kind of new to me too. So apparently, because our living and eating expenses for being here over the summer are being paid for by the school, in order to like repay that, the team, including me, has to like help um, to do work um, around campus and do type of, you know, do those type of tasks around campus a lot. So usually we like get up, eat breakfast, and then we have a work detail from like the morning from like maybe say 8 to 10 a.m. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll go back and eat lunch. So that's something that's definitely new to me. Something that's like, you know, it's just a new experience, man. Of course, I never had to do this at my previous school, but you know, it is what it is and we got to do it. So I don't know what we're going to be doing today. I'm gonna just be learning as you guys come with me too. And so we're about to head to the stadium right now and see what we gotta do for that work detail. Hey, this is a tour, tutorial for anybody who think I got cooked just now. You just got cooked. Definitely ain't get cooked. <laughs> you ready? Fuck no, I ain't ready. <laughs> Let me go first. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Down up. <laughs> got done. You ready? Down up. Oh, look, you ain't give me this one. Yeah, I did. Look, did. I go down up. You just went down up. Man, fuck this game. Hey, <laughs> somebody cold. He get his ass. Had a little fallout over some money. Damn, ain't it funny how the smartest people be beefing like they some dummies? But I hope you doing swell now. I hope your family. Well. They said y'all had a player that used to do that, like who had a record during practice and stuff. You can't do that. I ain't never done that. That's crazy. They're like seven on coaches, ain't up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Give it to uh, one of the uh, what's it called? It's early, bro. They got, they got us the working and stuff, too. It's crazy. Wake up early. I barely got enough time to go eat breakfast. Just wake up, go work. Wake up and work. Exactly. Come back, work out, meetings, seven on seven. Go home, shower, sleep. Wake up, do it all over again. Yeah. Repeat, exactly. <laughs> Need me what's up, man. Right back. We're just chilling, man. Grinding. Woke up early. Work a little bit, man. Never saw him for another blast. Let me know before it's gone, I'ma get my glass. If it rains, then we spinning cash. It's all the same when you're moving fast. Hey. We shut it down, I blow it up to make the feeling last. Hope it never passed. Bro, this shit look like a war zone, bro. Ah, what's good with y'all, man? So, we finished that. Y'all see what we had to do, man. So, ain't no joke for real. But we finished it. We actually finished pretty early. Usually, if we start around eight or nine, we wouldn't be done till about eleven. But it's actually about nine o'clock right now, and we done. So we have a little bit of time to go back to the crib, you know, rest up or do whatever we want to do until lunch. What's good, y'all? While we walk into the cafeteria to get lunch, I kind of just want to give my thoughts on like the campus so far, you know, how I feel about it and all that. It's definitely a smaller campus, smaller school, about like, I think I said like five, 6,000 students overall. So definitely like a lot smaller than what I've been at before. Um, real slow, real kind of like chill, not too much going on over here, you know, 
they say it picks up you know while the school year starts so when the school year starts it picks up a lot more students you know as expected but as of right now it's kind of like real slow just real chill not too many people here besides you know you know the football team a few other athletes and other people you know so just smooth chill thing like that Justin F. Bell. This ain't yeah. go following shit. Bruh, man, follow and subscribe to this shit, man. Come kill me, man. What's good with y'all? Back in the car now, real quick. That was us just going to lunch. We're about to head to the locker room and the facility now to get ready for our workouts. Um, if y'all saw, you know, I can't be eating no heavy lunch before workouts. I don't know how my teammates do it, eating burgers and fries and, and shrimp and all types of fried food before a workout like I don't know about y'all but like if I do that I feel crazy bloated during the workout and then I don't perform how I want to so that's why I usually just try to eat like salad and fruits and um you know just eat pretty light but anyway now we finna head to the facility the locker room which I definitely want y'all to see I think y'all be really interested to see kind of like the difference between this school's locker room and facilities compared to like Mizzou where I was at before as you know so we're gonna go over there Old in your back. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You gotta wear that hoodie now. I don't know, I just like it. You like you, bro. What? Oh, a hoodie? You wear hoodies in the game? Oh, yeah, in the game. Hell yeah, yeah. Gotta have that hoodie on. Gotta grab me one. Buy another one. Yeah, hit the trade. No, you got it small. No, you got it small. Huh? So basically we just finished workouts and practice right now. I'm just, you know, putting my clothes on my loop, about to put that in the laundry. Before I go head out, go back to dinner, I'm gonna show y'all, give y'all a quick little locker tour real quick. So My locker right here. We got this up part right here. We got above. And then in here you open this up. Really some extra space. Shoes over here. Stuff like that. A little extra part right there. But yeah, other than that, all this is just shoes and cleats. So yeah. It ain't nothing too crazy. It ain't nothing too crazy. But right now, we finna go back out, finna go head to the cafeteria to eat dinner. Yeah. Back in the room now. Cool little sunset. What's up with y'all, man? I'm back in the room now. That's pretty much what a day in the life, you know, looks like for me right now in the summer, summer workouts, man. I really apologize. The energy definitely wasn't here for this video. You know, I was trying to just kind of get through the day and just trying to let the images and the things I was doing kind of speak for themselves instead of me talking as much but you know i was kind of just tired and so the energy wasn't there but hopefully this video gives y'all a good idea of what a day in the life looks like as y'all can see 
things are a little bit different around here. You know, the resources, the money, the bells and whistles like they were at my other school or like I've been used to, you know, weren't necessarily there. So there's a lot of things, you know, that you have to do for yourself, you know, to be able to maybe stay healthy or gain weight or things like that. And those who are, you know, who play D2, D3, NAIA ball, even JUCO ball know exactly what I'm talking about is that most of these schools don't have a lot of the money and the resources that maybe big power five D1 schools do. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all good, man. You know, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to play football and still show what I've got. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all are able to take something from it. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. The word we're going to use for this video again today if y'all if y'all made it to this far of the video comment sip down below because like i said and i've said it in my last video we are in the sit now okay and it's a little different down here i'm i'm adjusting to it myself being from the midwest i'm not used to the south so i'm adjusting to it myself but we are in the sit now so y'all put in the comments like the sip sip mississippi whatever it is man Make sure that I know that you made it this far in the video because you know what I always say, if you made it this far in the video, you a real one. And before I end this video, I definitely also wanted to say something. I've said previously in my videos how much big of a difference this is coming from an SEC school to now D2. And you know, a lot of people may see that as like a huge downgrade, but you know, for me, I feel as if, you know, in my journey in football, and if you know my story, you know, just to be here is still, you know, very much a blessing. And for my journey, I feel as if this is the path, this is the um, place that, you know, I should be at, that God wants me to be at and was the best option I had for, for sure. And so I know that, um, you know, a lot of athletes deal with the same thing. We deal with so many mental battles, ups and downs, you know, playing our sport. And throughout this whole process, throughout, you know, all my mental battles playing football, you know, it really allowed me to get closer to, you know, my faith, my faith as a Christian. And so I don't want to get like too religious on y'all, but I am very much a Christian. So I'm going to try something new now where at the end of each video, not only do I give y'all a keyword to put in the comments, but I'm going to give y'all a little Bible verse just to give y'all some motivation, inspiration for whatever you may be going through. And so one of my favorite Bible verses I have here is Isaiah 43, 2, which says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers they will not overflow you when you walk through the fire you will not be scorched nor will the flame burn you and so basically the verse is saying that God will always be with you and I feel as if that's very much applied to me in my life and my football journey so far I've you know never felt like God has turned his back on me even when I've been going through the difficult times even when I'm not sure what's about to happen next but he's always found a way and he's always given me a path to take. So hopefully that speaks to you watching this video, whether you're in JUCO, D1, NAIA, D2, D3, whatever you are, all my athletes, you know, cause we, we go through a lot, man. We go through a lot. And so hopefully, you know, this serves as an inspiration to keep going, to keep working, to keep finding ways to get better. As always, I appreciate y'all watching. All the love and support on TikTok and Instagram is not going unnoticed. As always, keep rocking with the brands. My code Justin E will save you some money on KGY, Keep Grinding Youth Brand, Johnson & Scott, Mixed Emotions, and LSB Bands. You see those wristbands I'm wearing right here? Code Justin E will save you money on all of those. But as always, thank you so much for the love and support. More videos, more content will be on the way. Let me know what y'all want to see next. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, and I'll see y'all in the next video.